All right, so before this video begins, I want to give a huge shout out to Jermaine Ford of Beaver Creek. I'm going to put their website right here. Um, John, the GM, has been great to work with over the past you know year. We've done a lot of different reviews together. Uh, they've got a great inventory, um, and I will link it here, like I said. If you like this Explorer ST or go check out their website, they've got different vehicles that you can check. And Jermaine's a pretty large family of dealerships. They've got other stuff as well, so make sure you check them out if you're looking for a new vehicle. Thank you. How's it going guys? My name is Voss and if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're on a 2020 Ford Explorer ST. Uh, these things are pretty wicked. It's like 15 degrees outside, so I don't know how much I'm going to push it. It is on some performance wheels and tires, but um, I'm going to stop talking and enjoy the cinematic. Like I was mentioning, this is the 2020 Ford Explorer ST, and uh, I don't know if you've seen the recent trend. Uh, most companies are making more SUV stock, bigger vehicles. That's what's selling right now in the US market. So with Ford, other than the Mustang, they're pretty much not making small vehicles anymore. Uh, maybe the Ford GT, but it, it mass produced smaller vehicles is pretty much the Mustang and everything else is going to the crossover SUV line. Even the new Mustang coming out is gonna be a crossover electric. But this is the Explorer ST. This thing has some pretty crazy specs on it. So I'm gonna run you down the quick information and then we'll get it on the road and see how it does. So for starters, uh, the Explorer has been around since like the 90s. It's a pretty popular vehicle. It's a very started very utilitarian and as the years have progressed, Ford has definitely added some luxury to it. Uh, for example, I have massaging seats on right now and um, it's not something you think of when you think of Explorer. But on top of that, uh, these things start right now in 20, the 2019, 2020, the base trim starts around $30,000, $32,000. It's a four by two, very bare bones Explorer and jumps all the way up to the ST and Platinum. The ST is around um, $55,000, $56,000. And once you jump into the Platinum, you can almost touch the fifty eight dollars to $60,000 range. So in terms of the powertrain, we're looking at a six cylinder EcoBoost motor. It's twin turbos. It's similar to what they're doing with all their pretty much all their vehicles right now. And in the Explorer ST, we're looking at about 400 horsepower and 415 foot pounds of torque. That comes on roughly, that torque comes on right around 3,500 RPM. So it's it's got some get up and go to it. I've driven it a hair. Uh, it's also got a quad tip exhaust. Um, it's got sport mode and a bunch of other features. I'll run down in a second. But when you pair it all with that, it sounds good. It drives pretty good. You can get it in a six seat or a seven seat configuration, third row. The third row has power up and down. I'll sh cut that in here as well. But this brings it to right around 4,700 pound curb weight. And then that allows us to go from zero to 60 in five seconds. Now that's actually very impressive given what this is. This is a giant family vehicle with, you know, a 0-60 in five seconds while you're hauling seven people. That, that's that's there's a lot of party tricks in here and it's gonna be a lot of fun and then you got nowadays uh the infotainment's got a 12 inch display um it kind of looks like an ipad I, i've been seeing a lot of companies start doing this now i think the mustang mach -E is gonna have something similar to this like i said heated and cooled seats massaging seats heated steering wheel instead of an instrument cluster you have a 12 inch fully digital dash now and you can configure that with as you change the drive mode you can get different uh features and stuff like eco and sport. Um, it's a little confusing at first, but the more you play with it, it's not hard to kind of figure out. This is a third row seat family SUV. When you have, when you're hauling all seven, you only get about 18 cubic feet of space. When those seats come down the third row, you get about 40 to 45 cubic feet. And when you can also fold the second row down and it's almost like a full flat bed, you can get almost roughly about 80, 85 cubic feet of space. So you can haul quite a bit in here. Apart from that, you have all your creature comforts in here. Personally, I think the instrument cluster looks the best in sport because then the miles per hour is on the left the tax on the right it makes the most sense to me you can see your speed limit you has the lane assist and all that stuff the display is pretty nice you can connect your phone to it uh, it's got like apple carplay uh, like i said massaging seats ambient lighting you can change all of the settings on here it's very customizable um so 
I'm gonna quit talking. Let's get this on the road and see how it does. We get this driving, if foot on the brake, and Ford's now been doing this kind of, I think Jag started this, but a lot of companies have just a little thing that you twist like a knob, and I've already got it in sport. That can be done with this, this one right here. And uh, no, we don't want eco, we want sport. There we go. And from what I understand, uh, Ford actually has kept the suspension on these vehicles the same. So there's no adaptive suspension from the different trims, like from the XLT and the Platinum and stuff. The AST is the most sport-oriented and more aggressive trim in terms of performance, but the suspension stays the same. But guys, this sounds really good for what it is. Let's see how it does up in this turn. You know, it's got a little body roll, but it's a large SUV. So we have the upgraded um, tech package and the performance package. So we're looking at 21 inch blacked out wheels on some Pirelli summer tires. Uh, right now it's 28 degrees with the real feel about 15. So I'm not gonna push it super hard because I don't know what's gonna happen, but it's taking these corners really well. From everything I looked on this vehicle, I did a little bit of research before coming and driving it. A lot of people were complaining that there was a lot of body roll. And just from driving it a little bit, yeah, there's some by roll. The suspension could be a little tighter, but I mean, overall, it's pretty, um, it's pretty responsive. I'm actually pretty impressed. Man, it's weird that there's massaging seats in here. Guys, it's it has some pickup and go. The transmission's also the same 10 speed that Ford's been using in a lot of their vehicles. I think the Mustang, the automatic Mustang, the GT and the premium had a 10 speed. And I wrote, I reviewed that last year. And my takeaway was at first I was skeptical because it's like, why do you actually need 10 speeds? Weren't you just gonna be jumping up and down the gears a lot? But really the transmission does a great job, not just stuttering through gears. It only picks them up as you need them. So if you're running a pull or you're gonna do like a, a different, if you're in one gear, it's not going to go four, five, six, seven. It might just jump you to the one you need to by the time you get there. So overall, the transmission is very well balanced. Is this fitting of the ST badge? Yeah, I definitely think so because the ST represents the special vehicle teams with the sports, you know, sport in mind. And this thing feels sporty. The exhaust sounds great. It's got a lot of tech in here. And overall, I'm very impressed with how it's driving. And when you don't want to be obnoxious and you just want to enjoy it, turn the massaging seats on, get the radio going, you can get your Apple CarPlay, all that stuff. It's comfortable. Overall, I'm very impressed. I mean, you have, I think nowadays, a lot of car manufacturers are throwing a ton of features in your car, which is good, but it's like, do you need all those? And here you kind of get, if I could pick and choose features I want, heated seats, you know, heated steering wheel, those are things that I really would like, and this has got all that stuff. Massaging seats, that's a bonus if you get the tech package. If you don't get the tech package, you get a, I believe like an eight inch screen that's not this iPad looking screen. Uh, but like I said, overall it's got everything it needs. And in that $55,000 price range, this is very appealing to, you know, a family that may not want to get a minivan, might want to get something a little sportier, a little bit more premium feeling. And, and overall, it definitely delivers on that. The um, fuel economy, they rated it at somewhere around 17 city, 24 highway. Uh, <laughs> I think that's entirely dependent on how you drive it. Um, it might be getting maybe like 15 or so with some spirited driving, but I think it's worth it. It feels really, really good. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up this review. I have to give it back now. Um, overall, it's been great. And I just wanted to say, I'm very impressed. I think to me, this was a lot more appealing than the Edge ST. I, I like the form factor of this. It's a little bigger and it still drives and handles well. It sounds great. It actually sounds really good. I would say this is a great pickup if you're looking for a family vehicle where you can haul the family around and you know if you need that extra cargo space or whatever. Uh, and it also comes standard with a towing package and a towing hitch. So if you got a boat or anything like that, this would be great for that or a trailer. But um, if you guys enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. Uh, we just hit over a thousand subscribers. I am giving a GoPro away. Actually, I take that back. That GoPro is probably already given away by the time this comes out. But if you like giveaways, we'll be doing plenty more of that stuff. So stay tuned. But thank you for watching and I will see you next video.